story's over. Welcome to the end. Hello, boys. God is extinguishing galaxies. We need to be prepared. Feels like we're taking a big, probably stupid risk. Feels good. The first quest was meant to strengthen Jack's body. Step two, Jack needs to find the occultum. The occultum must be in you. Leave me alone! The soul is back. Please forgive me. I know what you are. And what's that? I saw the film. And how did it make you feel? Feel? I, I don't understand. Oh, of course you do. You enjoyed seeing that man, although Nazis are hardly men, that dog's death. You relished his pain, didn't you, Jeff? What? No. Wait. You wanted me to find... Is this some kind of test? To, to what? See if I'm bloodthirsty, dangerous? Aren't you? No. Yes. You are. And Sam and Dean... No, that's not... They know... Know what? How powerful you are? How powerful you've become? Because I do. They should be scared of you. I would never hurt them. You have before. Haven't you? Have you ever thought that Sam and Dean keep you here, closed in, secure, because they're scared you'll do to someone else what you did to their mother? Now that I'm here, they will never have to worry about you again. What I've always done, I'm protecting my family. Don't. What did you do to me? You didn't think those smoothies were for your health, did you? Oh, I've learned a few things while I was doing the dusting around here. A little yarrow root, some ground jaw bone for texture, and voila! You are as weak as a puppy. Why? To make the bunker safe again. To get rid of all the monsters. Oh, ah. What is... You've all been very bad! I am not gonna fail. Not again! You thought you could destroy us? Destroy our family? No. I wasn't there for them before, but now I am going to stop you from hurting them! No, 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 Miss Butters, don't! Samuel, you will thank me eventually. You hurt him. You hurt us. Oh, no, he's infected you. I have to keep you safe. By trying to kill the people we care about? I... He's... He's a monster! That's why Mr. Cuthbert said I couldn't go back to my fort because of things like that! No, no, no. Mr. Cuthbert used you, okay? He lied to you. Mr. Cuthbert tortured you. He could save the world. What? He could save the world. What? That's why we're here. Isn't it? Us. The men of letters. That's the whole mission. Is saving the world. He can do exactly that.
I miss them so much. <laughs> We want to take your brother down, and we need your help. What makes you think I'd do that? Because you've got beef with him, past and present. Amara, I saw in Chuck's mind, his memories. He asked you for help. Refusing to help him isn't the same as betraying him. You know what he's been up to in the past couple of months, snuffing out universes, one after the other. I know, I can feel it. He's very nearly done with the others. And you don't care. It doesn't matter. There's nothing you two can do. There is. See, our pal Jack, he's a Nephilim, and he's getting stronger every day. And soon he'll be strong enough to overpower Chuck. Now, we have a way to trap him, but we can't do it without you. No. No. No, I won't betray him like that. Why? I told you, Dean. He's my- No, no, no. Why did you bring her back? You said that you wanted to show me something. That you wanted to, uh, to teach me something. But I don't know if you were following along with your little experiment. It came to a not-so-happy ending. My mom is dead. So what exactly did you want to show me? What was the point? I wanted two things for you, Dean. I wanted you to see that your mother was just a person. That the myth you'd held on to for so long of a better life, a life where she'd lived, was just that. A myth. I wanted you to see that the real, complicated Mary was better than your childhood dream because she was real. That now is always better than then. That you could finally start to accept your life. And the second thing? I thought having her back would release you. But that fire out. Your anger. But I guess we both know I failed at that. You're damn right. another cosmic dick rigging the game. You're just like your brother. It was a gift, Dean, not a trial. I'm not angry, Amara. I'm furious. To know that all my life I've been nothing but a hamster in a wheel, stuck in a story, and you know whose fault that is? Chuck's. And it ain't just me. We're all trapped. Sam and Cass and Jack and even you. And you want to talk about the people that he's killing Stop. right now? Why? He's not stopping. And you're doing nothing to stop it. Think he gives a rat's ass about you? Well, now I was living in a dream world. Can I trust you? I would never hurt you. I'll think about it. When we, when I, killed Chuck and Amara, I'll die too. What? Billy's spell's been turning me into some kind of bomb, and when I go off, God, Mara will cease to exist. And I won't survive. I 
I've seen this movie before. Hey, Dean. I know what you are now. That won't work. But all those hungry years, I'm starving. No way. Hasta la vista. Hasta la... Why is that not working? Is this a trap? I gave you an out. I mean, you just wouldn't take it. You B-word. The Winchesters have found a way to bind you, brother. What? No. No! You can't hold me here forever. I can hold you long enough. Billy wants to take over. Become new god. Classic narcissist, right? She's all tingly for the rules, the good old days. What is that supposed to mean? Everyone back to where they belong. Realities, dimensions, graves. What should be dead dies, angels off earth, demons back to hell, and I go back to sleep. Where I'm supposed to. You're Sam Winchester. You're in God's book. That's, that's Chuck's death book. Maybe if I hurt you. <coughs> Hear that? Get your sight down here, Billy, or your boy's toast. Wait. Stop. Billy sent me. She did one now? Yes. Sam, finally. What? Tomorrow, she's here with Chuck. It's time. No, 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 Cass. We can't let that happen. We have to stop it. Starting fresh. Creating something new. Something beautiful. Peaceful. Together.
Chuck has to die. He has to! Otherwise, he'll keep us tap dancing forever! And I can't live like that, man! I can't live like that! I won't! I know you feel like that right now, okay? I know you do. But you gotta trust me. My entire life. You've protected me. From Dad. From Lucifer. From everything. I didn't always like it, you know? But... It's the one thing in the whole world that I can always count on. It's the only thing I've ever known that was true. So please, put the gun away. Just put it away. We'll figure it out. Dean, we'll find another way, you and me. We always do. Are you kidding me? I tried, and I tried, and I tried, but you're all just too stupid, too stubborn, too broken. You know what? I'm over it. I'm over you. Yeah, good. Screw you. You know what you do with broken toys? You throw them out. So, kill each other, don't kill each other. I don't care. What do you mean? I mean, have fun watching him die. <gasps> Help me! Jack, Jack, <gasps> Jack, hey! <sighs> Jack! You're not looking so hot. I'm sorry. Oh! Wait, what, what about Jack? If he's alive, you have to bring him back. Not until I get what I came for. Yes, yeah, you took something that belongs to me. God's book. You were always gonna betray us. Sorry, kid. You're still useful. No, you can't. I can and I will. Goodbye, boys. <laughs> Hello, boys. What's the plan? Take me down with my own weapon? Something like that. Interesting. <laughs> Remember when you stabbed me in the back? Cause I do. It's over. Call it off. Stop killing my people. I didn't hurt your friends. What? <laughs> You're in the wrong place, Dean. What are you talking about? I'll let you in on something. When you cut me, that little nick, it was fatal. Something I can't survive. See for yourself. You killed me, Dean. So yeah, no. I don't care about your friends. I don't care about your family. But seeing you here has reminded me of something. There is one thing I'd like. One wish before I go. I'd like to see you dead. <laughs> 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 
Come on, Dean, we gotta go. Come on. It's you, Dean. It's always been you. And everyone who knows you sees it. Everything you have ever done, the good and the bad, you have done for love. You raise your little brother for love. You fought for this whole world for love. That is who you are. You're the most caring man on earth. You are the most selfless, loving human being I will ever know. You know, ever since we met, ever since I pulled you out of hell, knowing you has changed me. Because you cared, I cared. I cared about you. I cared about Sam, I cared about Jack. But I cared about the whole world because of you. You changed me, Dean. Why does this sound like a goodbye? Because it is. I love you. Don't do this, Cass. Goodbye, Dean. side with the Winchesters. I can't forgive that. Father, no. That was a lapse of judgment, I admit, but I swear I would- Save it! I'm canceling your show. One for the road. Cute. Oh, what the heck. I can get my hands dirty. That's enough, guys. Guys, come on. Guys, come on. That's enough. <laughs> Why are you smiling? Because you lose. <laughs> hey, Jack. See for yourself. There's nothing there. Oh, there is. But only death can read it. That's right. So we had to come up with a plan B. That wasn't too hard, though. When we realized that Michael really is a daddy's boy. Oh, yeah. Mikey's a cuck. <laughs> so you didn't take it too well when he found out that you asked Lucifer 
for help. Oh, he was desperate to be the favorite again. <laughs> Since we couldn't read the book, we had to come up with a story about finding the spell, which we knew Michael would feed straight to you. <sighs> All that prep work we did to turn Jack here into a cosmic bomb? Oh! <laughs> Well, it turned him into sort of a, a power vacuum. He's been sucking up bits of power all over the place. So when the two heavyweights, your boys, showed up to duke it out, oh, I charged him right up. See, we knew Michael would warn you, and you'd show up here. And you did, and you killed your own son. And you beat the crap out of us. <laughs> releasing all <laughs> kinds of power. God power. Jack absorbed it all and made him... Well, it made him unstoppable. This... This is why you're my favorites. You know, for the first time, I have no idea what happens next. Is this where you kill me? After everything that I've done to you... To die at the hands of Sam Winchester. Of Dean Winchester. The ultimate killer. It's kind of glorious. Sorry, Chuck. What? What? See, that's not who I am. That's not who we are. What kind of an ending is this? His power. You sure it won't come back? It's not his power anymore. Then I think it's the ending where you're just like us. Unlike all the other humans you forgot about. It's the ending where you grow old, you get sick, and you just die. And no one cares. And no one remembers you. You're just forgotten. Sam, Sam. Stay, stay with me. Can you stay with me, please? Okay. You knew it was always gonna end like this for me. It's supposed to end like this, right? I mean, look at us. Saving people, hunting things. It's what we do. No, no, stop. Okay, just, just stop. It's okay. We had one hell of a ride, man. Dean. Okay, please. I'm fading pretty, I'm fading pretty quick. So, there's a few things that I need you to hear. Come here. Let me look at you. There he is. I'm so proud of you, Sam. Did you know that? It's, you're so damn smart, smart. You never, you never took any of Dad's crap. I never knew you did that. And you're stronger than me. You always have been. And I didn't know what I would have done if I didn't have you. Because I was, I was scared. I was scared. When it all came down to it, it was always you and me. It's always been you and me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I can't do this alone. Yes, you can. Well, I don't want to. I can't do this alone. Yes, you can. Yeah. Well, I don't want to.
Every day you're out there and you're, you're living and you're fighting because you, you always keep fighting. You hear me? I'll be there every step. I love you so much. My baby brother. No. Well, I did not think this would be the day. But it is. It is. And that's... Uh, that's okay. I need you to... I need you to promise me. I need you... To, to tell me that it's okay. I need you to tell me it's okay. Look at me. Look at me. I need, I need, I need you to tell me that it's okay. You tell me, tell me it's okay. You can go now. You can go now. Sammy. Dean. Maybe someday, if uh, if people are interested, maybe we can do like a, a, a reboot and part of the reboot is kind of a funny crossover um, of a few shows that have been gone for a while. Maybe maybe they can find a way to bring us back the last uh, few episodes of Walking Dead. So that this is just the show that will never die and it literally <laughs> is the show that will never die. <laughs> uh, you know, just when we thought we were, you know, moving right towards the finish line, uh, you know, this whole thing happened. And so I don't know. I mean, you know how this entertainment industry works. They're probably going to try to reboot us in about three or five years. So we'll like see a what movie. happens. Yeah. I wonder who will play you. <laughs> He's not born yet. Me. Right? I hope He's not me. Born. <laughs> He's not born yet. <laughs> I promise. I will never die.
Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> I literally just said that the whole way. Gilmore Girls uh, did, I did five seasons, they did seven. And then 10 years later, they did a Netflix reboot. So movie or reboot, give me a call. I'm, I, uh, I'm in, man. It's going to happen. Character. I love the show. I love the fandom, the family. I, you know, I've always, um, I've always thought that there is a possibility of, you know, five years down the road, getting the call and saying, Hey, let's do a, a little short order action for, for a streaming network and, and bring them back for six episodes. That's going to happen. The show's too famous not to happen. Right. I do feel like this is, this isn't like the long goodbye right now. You know, this is, I feel like this is a, um, um, you know, let's, let's put this, let's hang this in the closet for now. And, and we'll, we'll dust her off, you know, down the road a bit. Bye boys. No, it's been, it's been, and frankly, and this is obviously on camera, so maybe I shouldn't say this. I feel like the show could go 15 more, honestly. Like, I feel like we have so much that we could do, so many stories we could tell. I mean, we're 15 years in, it's just the show that will never end. Since, since it was determined that the show was going to end at 327 episodes, um, I would like to think of this as a see you later, not as a goodbye. Um, so, I, I don't know where that would be, but, uh, yeah, uh, they have my phone number. So, it really, wasn't really, if I, if I played Sam Winchester for my entire life, I, I, I'd die happy, you know? Um, as long as he had a story to tell, and he does have a story to tell, um, and he's telling that story. And maybe, uh, on April 5th, when Jared and Sam say goodbye to each other, Hopefully it's see you later and not goodbye, you know? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh. <laughs> um. The show could go for, the show could go for many more years and still be a, a great show. Leaving not only the, the, the fans wanting more, but also us wanting more. Like, I hope this isn't the last time I'll play Sam Winchester. Um, nothing, nothing ever stays down to Patrick. Yeah. yeah, this is also the last time we get to see you guys as uh, Sam and Winchester. Yeah. For now, for now. For now. Fingers crossed. Yeah. We got work to do. That's Chuck's ending? No, no, I don't think so. After everything that he has put us through, I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some glorified fanboy get the last word. No doubt, endings are hard. But then again, nothing ever really ends, does it? I, it came to the point of like, okay, I think this is the right time. Like, I, it was a, it's a weird decision. And then I'm gonna sell them out. <laughs> when Jensen got to Vancouver two weeks ago, I have a text message from him. He's like, man, crazy being back in Vancouver. I feel like we could do two more years. But I was like, let's talk, man. Like, I, <laughs> to all the Espian family out there, thank you so much for uh, taking this journey with us for 15 years. Uh, we love you. And we won't be gone long, I promise. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. 300 channels and uh, nothing's on. I am the trickster. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Wayward Winchester for more awesome supernatural content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Hmm. Mara, no! No chick flick moments. Awesome. 
That's awesome. Right. Right. Come on. You know what? You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you too, I guess. <laughs>